What's up with it, world? Long awaited, most hated. This is Big Caddy Grilling and Chilling. I am your co host with the most, BZ Mac and the Handicap Assassin. You already know my other brother. All right, what's popping with it, world? It's your boy, Big Gotti. You know what I'm saying? We back with another season of Grilling and Chilling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Long awaited. Everybody been asking us about it, so we back with right. it. You feel me? Uh, I got my boy BZ, you know what I'm saying, chefing it up. About to get it in here with some uh, so some t- yeah, tell them, explain, explain to them what we making, P. Yeah, man, I'm be eating me the uh, bagel, bag, bagel, egg, and bacon and cheese. Okay. My boy wants a breakfast burrito with uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, man, so we gonna get it right. Yes, we gonna sir. start with this bacon and get this shit going. Put that bacon on there, slap that shit on there, man. You hear that nice sizzle? Ooh. That's how it should sound, man. Tell them, man, if it don't sound like that, P. I don't want it. No, well, nah. But yeah, man, you gotta make some room, get this shit off. So, man, that Montgomery brawl situation, man. Yeah, man, how you feel about that? I was just about to get into that. Man, that shit crazy, bro. Yeah, I don't, nah, yeah. that changed a lot. That changed a lot in the world, though. So, what, what was what, what was the reason why they started fighting in the first place? Man, it was the old uh, security guard, man, like 60 years old, yeah. when told um, some white family to move their boat so the big boat. You know what I'm saying? Marriott or whatever can come in mm-hmm. and dock because they couldn't dock because it was too... Too... too like you said, they couldn't big, fit. Yeah, yeah, okay, the boat yeah, was yeah. too big, so... Those, uh... The other family, they started talking... Yeah, up over yeah they started talking smack to the security guard. Yeah. And started, started wanting to fight the security guard and jump him, and then... They started jumping him, and he was holding him, but then... Another white dude came and helped the other white guy, so then it was two on one. And that shit just didn't look good at all. Nah, you said it was in Alabama, correct? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know it's a lot of racism out there. They wanted no, to do that. Right. It was waiting for something to pop off like that. But the only thing to me is like, damn, y'all gotta, you know, jeopardize your whole life, your whole future. Nah, but yeah, there is a, so lot stupid. Of, a lot of charges getting brought up. Hell yeah, yeah, they gonna get, uh, that video, bro, that shit went viral. Like I said, my brother got his whole shit took down for that shit, you feel and me? And everybody posting, I don't know what, so I don't know why he got, you know what I'm saying? He got flagged like that. Like, yeah, nigga, then that Kai Shinnit, you know that, that one YouTuber nigga? Yeah, he was too popular to be doing shit like that, too, like. I think he was doing a giveaway in New York or some shit, and nigga, nah, he just... that's the wrong place, yeah. Especially if you're acting a fool like that, you feel me, like... He should have kept them people more safe, you know, that, 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 that... Nah, yeah, that monster. really wasn't thought out, for sure. Nah, he was just trying to be nice, though, you feel me? I ain't nah, that's what he's always doing, like, helping people out, but like you said, like... They don't give a fuck, they're gonna fuck the city up for you. Yeah. People don't got no respect or morals, you know what I'm saying? They don't really care about his future, you know what I mean? Yeah. And what happened to him, so. But Not it was. For sure, but. He got so locked he, up, right? Yeah, he got locked up, but he's getting back on Twitch now because he gotta denounce all the rioters and shit, like trying to say he didn't have nothing to do with it. He was just trying to do a giveaway, you know what I mean? So, what you think about this shit that's going on right now with, with Adam, AD? All these motherfuckers, like, you know what I'm saying? All these little problems they have, man, about the power. Yeah, it's just a, like a big power struggle. Who wants to be the pop, top podcast and shit? You can only see it. It's like, it's friendly competition, but it's leading into more than that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they're starting to pull out people's bank notes and all types of pay stubs and shit. They're starting to, uh, what's his name, Pun, say he about to beat him up and all kind of shit. You feel me? It's like, bro, you kind of taking it too Not far. Not even at him. He's like, what you want to do? Pull up. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, it's about that life and shit. Shit don't make no sense, bro. Like, at all, man. That shit don't make no sense, bro. So, I mean, when you look at it with AD and them, who you feel like is right and wrong in the situation, though, in your opinion? Um, I think Adam's just a culture vulture. That's why I'll never agree with him, but... No, nah, yeah, fuck Adam, for sure. So, you think you think AD and them is, is in the right? He's just using all of them for, like you said, his paycheck. But he said, he basically was talking about how... He did do a lot for those niggas. I can't lie to those about that part. Well, he made them famous. He That's made them be saying. able to have a podcast. He made them more than what they really was. Yeah, sure. he did. For sure. Gave him a real platform to, to leave him and still be, have a platform. Yeah. That's winning to me. For sure. Now, how great. do you like your bacon like? I like... Just regular? What do you mean? Like crispy? Yeah, so tell me if you want to... Take any of them off, you see any of them. Like, I mean, like, right now, we, like, at a 8 out of 10, like, them, like, another minute, and them motherfuckers That's what I'm cook, saying. You know what I'm saying? Righteous for you sure. chefing those up nice. I ain't even finna lie to you. I'm just trying to get that fat black and blue. Yeah, you hate that fat. You said you talked about that. Put that fat in that oil, yeah. Sure. Drop it right in that oil, please. <clears throat> but, yeah, man, this shit crazy, man. Like, uh, and also, you hear about the George Floyd dude, the, the, the police officer, how he only got five years. 
Uh, no, I've been seeing that a lot. Like a lot of those like big heavy murders and shit like that. People are only getting ten years. It's that Asian cop, you know what I'm saying? The one that was basically standing there. I'd actually put a short up on the page about it, tell you the truth. Uh but yeah, he was standing there basically while George Floyd was just getting choked out and the, the judge basically said that he was a senior officer. You know what I mean? So he shouldn't let yeah, he shouldn't have let nothing like that happen or go on, you feel me? Yeah, that's facts. <clears throat> you feel me? So basically, yeah, they need, they're gonna try to get over on you any way they can. Narrated his own death. Yeah. Over the course. So of he got five years. So I'm thinking. I'm asking movie. you though. When I was thinking about it, I was saying, do you nine think that's long minutes? See, he, he stayed on him for nine. No, minutes. yeah, that was sad to watch. Is that like justice said. though? Like five years. If I would have killed somebody, right, I would get life. In my, I mean, no, for sure. In in the public's uh, standards, you know what I mean. No, that's fact. So, I mean, do you think these cops getting five years? Do you think that's okay, or how do you feel about the situation? Do you feel like because they're police officers, like, they should get off? Years. No, that's that's perfect bacon, right? Yeah, definitely. Matter of fact, no, it's yeah. like like a slap on the wrist, like you said. What's his name Nine. before? Nine. Uh, that one cop, Scott Peterson, or whatever his name was. I don't even know if that's his name. I don't want to say you know, different names, but that one fool, that cop shooter, that you know what I'm saying? I forgot what you told me. Tyrone Trayvon. Trayvon Martin. Yeah. Okay. That dude, the one they got out. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, Zimmerman. Yeah, Zimmerman. There you go. Yeah, Zimmerman. And they're just out here like slapping the face <laughs> and shit. But society's still dealing with them. But I'm saying, you gotta live with that death on you. Know what I'm saying your whole life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, cause on your conscience and shit, like innocent people killing innocent people, like cops, like he says, sitting on George Floyd's neck, like yeah, for nine minutes, like the lady said, in front of everybody, like everybody, tell her. Everybody has a whole different way of looking at police now, for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's why a lot of polices are, like you said, non-funded and shit. Because people don't want to pay for some crooked activities. They're just as crooked as the streets, you know what I mean? Nah, for real. So it's like, it's no winning in this shit, really. Yeah, this shit. It's no winning in a lot of these cops, man. Uh, you know, I think you should have mandatory get a 10 piece. You know what I mean? 10 I mean, 15, for sure. 10, 10, 15, something like that, yeah. Uh yeah, no, nah, for sure. Right, cause I mean, or at least twelve. Shit, get a nigga twelve. If we did it, we'll get twenty five to with an L. You know what I mean? No, nah, they'll try to watch us. They won't even let us out for sure. Yeah, they will try to trap us their weed and shit. For sure, no, they're trafficking. Yeah, man, I don't even want to get into all that crazy. Shit. Show back. Yeah, you got that bacon. I mean, you just finished cracking one of those eggs for me. Got that bacon going. Let me get this. Let me get this. I wish I could drain this shit. Hit this. Hit this. We gonna use that grease to make these. Yeah. Uh, Make these eggs in though, cause we, we don't need to use no. Oh, you ain't gonna scramble yours up? Nah, fuck it, let's just fry them. Yeah, agree, yeah, let's get it. Feel me? Fuck it. I'm a sous chef right now today, y'all, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. Big Gotti the sous chef, man. Damn, we ain't hear no sizzle. Oh, there it go, it's popping on now. We finna hear some sizzle yeah, now. Shit down. Damn, we done lost egg, but we back though, we back. As long as we lost the egg in the bowl, let me, let me, hold on, let me, uh, wash my yeah, shit went straight into all the grease, that's, I don't like all that grease. Well, let me get the we grease. Try to save it. Let me get that one over there. I like the one with the grease. Put some salt and pepper on both of those. Yeah, yeah let me get, let me get the one with some salt and pepper. Hit them with some pepper. You feel me? Hit them with that pepper first. Right? Oh! This motherfucker kicking, man. And that's how you know, man. We really grilling and chilling alive, kid. Grilling and chilling and sizzling. And sizzling and everything, man. We do this shit for real, man. This is a hood cooking oh, show, oh, man. Oh, that's good. It's a hood cooking show where you can come right here, man, and watch us talk about oh. other topics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I need to get it out. Where that spatula at, P? Yeah. Oh, that's all you need was a little spatch, my fault. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that spatula. He forgot about this, huh? I forgot. Slide it over a little more. That's good. That's Bingo. Good. That's good. You don't want to mess it up too much. I know. Yeah, work with this, yeah, work with this, P. That like fork was into it. I was like, man, I don't even know why I ain't had that shit was long striking time every time. Like, that shit nah, was crazy. Motherfuckers looking good. So far. yeah, no, nah, you gotta look at you got you gotta look at nice. I ain't for the lie to you, man. I didn't even know you be chefing like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the kid. She used to be standing. I used to stand. That shit used to hurt my back so much. She's like, fuck. Motherfucking edge. Pop got them ass. He watching them, paying attention to him. You feel me? Shall we do it, man? Oh shit! Get too far out there, baby. 
Yeah, man. The shit we do for y'all, man. The shit we do for y'all, man. Grilling and chilling, man. We will be back with a new episode of Table Talking. For sure. If y'all got any ideas, man, hit that comment, hit that like, subscribe, all that. Yeah, you know these motherfuckers, man. A lot of a lot of the times, man, we get a lot. Oh of yeah. That. Speaking of that, man, if you want to get your business out there, your main promotion mm-hmm. out there, man, holler at us. We'll, you know what I'm saying? Holler at you in the commercial in, in between Table Talker. Going and chilling, whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? We also yeah. want to spread the love. You know what I'm saying? We want y'all to be out here with us. You know what I mean? Yeah, shout out to sponsorships. You feel me? We trying believe to... Believe in y'all dreams, too, man. Hell yeah, we believe in y'all, too. You feel me? And, um... I'm about to flip. Should I flip them or just let them ride out? I mean, you should flip them. We finna... It's finna... It's finna... It turned back on right now, so flip them because they about to cook. It's about to start cooking right now, man. Fuck out my hand. Hey, so you know that dude, C-Mac? He with China Mac right now, right? Yeah. So... Everybody say China Mac using them, nigga. I want to. Yeah, I want this for me real quick. I want to get your opinion. Do you feel like you feel like China Mac is a? You feel like China Mac is a using C Mac? Oh, for sure. To his advantage, yeah, for sure. But it's like they're real cool together. But like you said, you can see it's not a uh, loyal, a genuine, genuine relationship for sure. Not. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that. Uh, I think that China Mac man. Uh, I think he's taking advantage of the situation. You know what yeah, I mean? Just, but do you feel like he? Do you feel like he? Uh, do you feel like he at least helping him when you watch the? No, nah, he's helping him, but he's really helping himself more because he's uh, like you said, uh, praying on, praying on Crip Max innocence or something like type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like he it, knows like he's gullible. Yeah, facts. Like he knows he's gullible, but he's he knows him better because they're like. In the same type of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Same type of shit. So it's like, they really ain't too far from each other. So I can dig it. Like, But like you said, there is some crookedness in there. But there probably are some good, they are friends and shit. But no, it like looks the, like a joke sometimes, like you said, when I see that shit. Yeah, to me it looks like a fucking but joke. Yeah, you can start taking these bitches off. Though, okay, you ready to take these off? Yeah. So now use the thing. Maybe you a little scratch. I can't. It's just going to slide off. Nah. Should be good. We'll get all that we'll get, grease. And shit. We'll get them right under it, right? Boom. Well, that's why we got the thing for you. Feel me? The paper towel, so we can drain these mugs out. So bingo, right? Yay! But them bitches thaw. I mean, drip off. Yeah, yeah. Dry up, dry up, man. We cooked them in that month. About to throw a bagel and tortillas on this bitch and get this shit rolling. What you want to throw on first? The bagel. Uh, the tortillas. Let's start the bagel on here first. I'm going to toast it up, man. Yeah, some butter. Yeah, some, but, uh, no, you know what I'm saying? The bacon grease, that's just going to get it right. I like the yeah. top part, so just give me a top. What you mean? The top part, yeah, right here. Yeah, let me see. Show me what you want, man. Show me what you want, man, because I don't know what you want, man. Hey, so what you think about that motherfucking uh, Spence and Crawford, man? What you think about that? Everybody asked Spence, who'd you have? I had Crawford. I told you last time. You had Crawford? Yeah. And what you feel about What you feel about his performance, man? I can't. You walked out with Eminem, like you said, he already won. Like, for real. Like, if you can't win, if women Eminem walks you out, you shouldn't. Oh, like you said, Eminem be pissed off. <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, that was just the cherry on top for me, because all you like, you know what I'm saying? Crawford. I don't really know Spence that much. I fucked with Crawford more than I fucked with Spence, so it's like. Yeah. Yeah. See, a lot of people knew that Crawford was going to win. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at it like... Hey, can you crack one of them butters up right there? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got one right here. All right, yeah. Yeah, uh, I thought that... Uh, I thought that fucking uh, Spence was going to win only because he was the bigger, stronger fighter. But that shit, that, that shit didn't yeah, go on like that. experience as fuck. Yeah, the experience kind of, you know, outdid it all. You know what I mean? Tell you the truth. Hurt nigga feelings though, man. I lost hella money on that motherfucker. You feel me? I was at work like... No, nah, matter of fact, when I had bet on the fight, bro, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I had bet on the fight. You know what I said? Yeah. You know what I said on my number? I said, bro, you whooped me so bad, here go your money right now. Right after the fight, I ain't even had yeah, no money. I know, you sounded bad. Yeah. I was like, fuck, I ain't calling this nigga right now. I was like, yeah, bro, need that money right now. He whooped him so bad. I was like, this back over. fuck. Man, I was like, I can't believe this shit, man. I couldn't believe he had did him like that, man. Yeah, man, we should have strained some of this grease out, but it's all good. Yeah, we good. What, what, uh, you gotta make sure, man, uh, what happened? uh, so what you gonna do at that thing tonight, man, that little game, man? Just trying to get out there, uh, I ain't been to the sports game for a while, so I'm about to go check the sports game out and shit. About to support your local team? Hell yeah. Always, man. 
Support local always, man. You know what's crazy is uh, I really liked the porch when they was uh, what you call that shit when they was over there at Oak Park. I don't know why I never been to one of these games over there yet. The other one downtown. The one? Yeah. Have you ever been to the other one? Yeah. For a game? Park. Yeah. I ain't never even been to that one yet. Yeah, where the fuck you been? I don't know. I just never slid through there. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm cool for sure. I don't want my shit all soggy and shit. Yeah, it's boo. Everybody said that it's uh, everybody said that this shit is better over there. Nah, yeah. Keep it one thousand. Is it better than the old one? Cause you know the old one got that feeling. Oh no, I love always love. Like you said, I'm always gonna love the old one. Like I grew up at that motherfucker like, for sure, for sure. So like the old one always has like that spot. Just give you that feeling, right? The first, that was the first one. Hold on, let him sit. Let let him sit. Let him sit. Grease. I don't like you. Like your grease. That's me. Let him let him sit. Let him puff up. You know what I'm saying? That shit done like a balloon watch. Yeah, I know. So I'm saying these are them puff ones. You feel me? Nah, like you said. I gotta get them good ones, man. First one, there ain't nothing like the first one, but the second one is like it's so comfortable. Like you said, it's not open. You can see everything. Walk wherever you want. You can walk around it. Yeah, I like that shit. It was cool. I like the new one. You ain't been there at all at all to the new one? I mean, I like the new one how it looked, but I like the old one no matter what. Oh, mm-hmm. get some cheese, throw some cheese in there. Yeah, I like the old one though. I mean, cause the old one just give you that feeling, man, like we ain't had no money. The mommy give you a couple dollars, you go over there, get you a couple hot dogs. No, they sure. used to have the slapping ass hot dogs, I remember that shit. But yeah, what we finna do now is we finna- um, Put some cheese on the bagel. Oh, you want some cheese on the bagel too? Yeah. You like throwing your cheese on it or off the grill, man? Yeah, I'ma just wait. Why well, am I gonna do it? Let's do it. I know I might as well just do mine right now. I'm doing the cheese. That's what I'm saying. That's a calendar like that. It's like bingo. Turn this off like this. This how I'm gonna let that shit ride out. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Let that shit ride. You throw my egg on top of there. You want the egg on top of there? Grab that egg. Yeah. I'm saying. You got the cheese blocking it. Let's not do that. Boom. The egg on top of the cheese, so it gets all. You know what I'm saying. So the egg on top nice of the cheese. Comfy. Come on, come on. We get these motherfucking camera angles, man. Ghetto grilling and chilling, man. We out here, man. <laughs> Ghetto grilling and chilling. He just threw together a little lightweight. Heart attack special, man. Heart attack special, you <laughs> feel me? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my egg like this too. Yeah. By the bing, I'm gonna throw an egg inside the tortilla. Let them all get acquainted, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and grab this piece of bacon. It's all good. It's under the buried under here. I'm gonna go ahead and make me a bacon yeah. torta or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? Ghetto grilling and chilling, man. We yeah, back with it. Yeah, big away, man. It's big. Hell yeah. yeah. But look, man, uh, this was a dope ass episode, man. They see what we made. And I'm gonna uh, go ahead and. Uh, mm, mm, mm. I'm that real bacon boy. Pull mine out the motherfucking pan right here. So I used the tortilla. As you can see, he used the bagel. Cheers, Pete. Boom. Yeah. I gotta get my shit perfect. Mm-hmm. So that's just a little quick brunch, you feel me? Um, I should have made some sandwich, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just something a little quick we throw together, man. Quick and easy brunch, man. Better than uh, McDonald's and all that shit. Hell yeah. You know where your shit's coming from. You know Facts right? though, man. You know where your shit coming from. Good brown eggs. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but until the next one, Man, y'all don't forget to like and subscribe and stay safe out there, man. This shit's smart, man. Yes, sir, man. Let's get it.